This mm. 1989 CBS interview captured the changing attitudes after welfare programs started. I think I can make it as a single parent. But don't you think you might need help in raising that baby oh, from a man? Not really. It doesn't make any difference whether she needs a man. It makes a difference that her children need a father. Woo! What happened? These students at the University of Toronto are angry because a so-called men's rights activist was speaking at their of course. college. His of course. words are hate speech, they said. No hate speech on campus. They stopped people like this man from getting in to see the lecture. Wow. I've never heard him before. We, we invite you to educate I just want, Yeah, so I just wanted to listen to him, but now I can't get in. The boy crisis. The so-called men's rights advocate speaking inside was Warren Farrell. For the first time in U.S. history, boys will have less education than their dads. Farrell is an odd person to call anti-woman. He was actually an early feminist movement leader. Here mm. he is with Gloria Steinem. But wow. as he learned more, he started to disagree with parts of modern feminism. I don't agree with the part of feminism that says men are the oppressors and women are the oppressed. That part of feminism is sick. Men are running the government, they run most companies, they make more money. Our dads and our grandpas, they made sacrifices to make more money. And then the feminist movement turned all of that sacrifice on the part of men against men. And mm -hmm. they haven't said, you were discriminated against men in your own way. You were obliged to earn more money uh, or we wouldn't even be thinking about marrying you. We wouldn't be thinking about having children with you. Woo! In his book, The Boy Crisis, Farrell notes that both sexes struggle. Today, boys are almost a third less likely to get college degrees than girls, twice as likely to commit suicide. Why is no one talking about this? Because we... So guys, I thought this was an interesting video to watch because as you can see here, this man is not anti-woman, but the fact that he is just pro, like he's a, a male supporter, pro-male supporter for our boys, for our men that are struggling... Okay, there is a crisis right now in the United States, and I would say worldwide, where men are falling behind, not in the way where they're slower than women or they're not doing as well as women, but the fact that so that this modern feminism is not about pro-women and, and elevating women so that they have equal rights. It's gone to a place where women now have to be above men in order to feel equal. So for them, equality is if I can oppress men who have just oppressed me all my life, which the vast majority of women cannot pinpoint where men have actively oppressed them. There's real oppression going on around the world, but of course that conversation is not going to be had. Here in the West, we do not have active oppression. There are incidents of it, but it's not uh, this, this, this thing where men are trying to, they wake up every day and like, how can I put women down? But this, look at how the the reason why let men are getting less education is because the college campuses, which you can see here, have become so hostile and anti-male. Why would men want to enter that environment? We have believed for the last 50 years that men had all the privilege and men had all the power. Men and boys started falling behind when government began subsidizing single mothers. Ooh. They tear the family apart by giving the money to mothers when fathers are absent and not giving money to mothers when fathers are present. That policy, mm. part of the welfare system created hmm. in the 60s, helped lead to more households without fathers. Yes. Farrell says that hurts boys most. Why are mm. boys more affected than girls? Boys tend to not have as many skills at developing friendships and developing emotional connections. And so when their family connection breaks apart, it affects them more profoundly than it does their sisters. This mm. 1989 CBS interview captured the changing attitudes after welfare programs started. I think I can make it as a single parent. But don't you think you might need help in raising that baby oh, from a man? Not really. It doesn't make any difference whether she needs a man. It makes a difference that her children need a father. Woo! What happens when the kids don't have fathers? Children do worse in 70 different areas. They're far more likely to be disobedient, delinquent, drop out of school. Fathers are critical, says Farrell, because men tend to parent differently. 
So let's take it, let me, I'm gonna rewind it real quick so we can look at that list again. So these are the areas that he just has on here, but there's 70 different areas that children do worse in life without a father. Okay. And that is for, uh, male children and female children, but male children are, are receive the brunt of, um, the brunt of the things that go negatively, the things that go wrong. So he says they're born, uh, they'll be delinquent, be disobedient, drop out of school, worse social skills, less self-control, lower grades, less empathy, lower trust, more bullying behavior, more sibling rivalry, be a school be unemployed. They're far more likely to be disobedient, delinquent, drop out of school. Father. So they also said, go to jail, be homeless. And so there are so many, it, it's not a women, a lot of these women, as you can see those young women, and this started, year, you know, back in the, this started in the sixties where women felt as though they were enough for, to run their household that it's all about, well, I can handle it. I can handle the children. I can handle the housework. I can do bad all by myself. I can do these things on my own, but they never stop to think what is in the best interest of my child. Even if I, even if we didn't work as a couple, there is still benefits to, uh, to having a man in your child's life, to having a father in your child's life, and particularly your boys. How can a woman teach a boy how to become a man? How? It's impossible. A woman could, could there are things intangibles and tangibles that a man brings into a child's life that are impossible for a woman to replicate are critical, says Farrell, because men tend to parent differently. For example, men roughhouse more with kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is that important? Roughhousing creates so many skill sets. Mm. The father's creating a bond with the child, so the children don't mind the discipline because the discipline is the price they pay for more fun with dad. People think wow. that mothers tend to be better parents because on average, they're more attentive to children's needs. Mothers are more empathetic as a rule to the children than dads, but an empathetic parent does not create an empathetic child. An empathetic parent is someone who's always thinking of the children's needs, which teach the children to always have his or her needs thought of. The empathy is created wow. by the father or the mother requiring the child to think about the father's needs, the mother's needs, their brother's needs. In fact, he says helping children too much is harmful. Dr. Phil covered that in this video clip. Robbie, mom is rewriting your essay. Why? What is wrong with my essay? Why? Listen, this is the first paragraph. You wrote, have no time to eat. You need to start with... Mom, I'm in middle school. I'm not in high school yet. Wow. You want me to try. Let me try. Don't do it for me, Mom. I really want to do it myself. Moms are filled with love, and they want to make sure their children do well. So they often do for the children. Dads are filled with love, but the way that dads love is to feel that I need to love the children by having the children learn how to do for themselves. Having both. An so this is why we're in an environment that we see today, especially on social media. Everything is about me, 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 what makes me feel good. And as we can see, this is trickling down to all of society. It's, you know, it on Instagram is look at me, you know, everyone's trying to clout chase and do all these things to get attention for themselves. We have, you know, people, the depression, everyone's just focused inward. What makes me feel good? What makes my life good? And they're not thinking about the bigger picture, the entire family, the entire community, as long as it suits me then that's, that, that's good enough. I don't care about what other people need. Why? Because moms are giving and giving and giving, or they're wanting to keep their child from harm, wanting to protect their child, letting the child be the focus. And so that creates this narcissistic mentality that someone will always be there to, to help me. Someone will always be there to, you know, help uh, fulfill my needs. I don't have to do on my own, or there will always be someone to catch me when I fall. And that, that lesson, not learning that to stand on your own, that lesson, not having empathy and thinking about others. This is the dynamic that we're in today. And you especially see it in the dating market. Involved mother and father leads to the best outcome for kids. A government summary of studies notes, 
children who live with their fathers are more likely to have good physical and emotional health to mm. achieve academically, to avoid drugs, violence, and delinquent behavior. We need men to be involved in the fathering role to a much greater degree than they are and have been. Even when we control for the amount of money a father and mother earn, children with dads still do much better. Ready, jump. So you guys leave a comment below let me know what you think about this about the the epidemic of having fatherless um, households we see so many women you know being a single parent by choice um, not wanting the father to be involved we see in the court systems not wanting you know they want to have control that child's life from from head to toe and also when fathers discipline you will see women will consider that to be a you know uh, I don't want to say abusive. I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube, but it will will take it as that where fathers will be more stern. They will be they will have more structure involved in the child's life. And moms see that as bad because the child feels bad in the moment. The child is not making the child feel good, but your child feeling good for that moment can ruin them for the rest of their life. But again, guys, leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Real Melanie King. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.